Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to make Gukwa Medup Chrysanthemum Knot. You can see the unit in here and some other Gukwa Medup can be seen here. I also have a big one in here too. So let's make Gukwa Medup Chrysanthemum together. I will start with two different color cores so you can see the direction and the movement easily. First, I will hold with my right hand and wrap around twice and change my hand. Using the other color, I make a big loop. Using the big loop, I will wrap around the small one, the other color, and twist it. And take the lighter color one, and the end goes inside the two loops and under two dark blue, and go out. And the dark blue, unwrap it and I will wrap around two light colored ones again. And the light colored end goes under two dark blue and come out through those two loops. Now you can see two same color cores. And I put my fingers and you can see one, two, three, four parts. So I will weave it through that part. First, I go under the light blue one, over the dark one, under the light blue one, and over the dark one. Under, over, under, over. Pull it gently and then turn upside down and I will weave one more time. Two lines are here and one, two, three, four. Using dark cord, I will go through the first light blue one from bottom to the up and over, under, over, under this time. Now I finished making a shape. You can compare with the Titan one, small one, and I will adjust everything nice and tight. So start point is here and I will pull gently as I follow the direction. Pull a little bit at a time. Pull a little bit at a time until I reach to the end point. And now I will do the other side. From the beginning starting point, I will pull gently Try to follow the direction, little at a time. At the beginning, you can use your fingers. And as we progress, maybe we can use the tool to adjust. So I will do it little at a time. This time I will use my tool, craft all. Gradually, I move the part that I don't need to the end, end of the cord. And I will do the same thing with the dark color side. And 
Sometimes I use my fingers to tighten the cord, and sometimes I use my tool. The point is trying to make the shape as flat and even spaced as I can make. So I will keep adjusting little at a time. Now I made my hands a little faster, so you can see. I still adjust a little bit at a time until I get a really nice shape. At the beginning, I wrapped around twice. So you can see one and middle shape and two. And one middle shape and two round the shapes like this. Front and back are exactly the same. I will adjust one more time so I can have a really nice shape. And I will do the blue part. Looks like it's getting better. So now I got my shape with two different colors. This is two round, two wrapped around the shape. Now I will make three wrapped around chrysanthemum, kukwa, one, two, three, and move my hand. One, two, three, like this. And I will make a bigger loop on the right side so I can wrap around the three times. First, wrap around and twist. And using the other color, go through three, three loops and go under the other colors and come back and once. And untwist and wrap around one more time and twist and go through those three loops go under the other colored cords and come back this is number two and untwist and wrap around one more time twist and go through those three loops Go under the other color cords and come back through the, those three loops. Now it's time to weave one to three lines. It's exactly the same. Under, over, under, over, under, over. And then turn it upside down and weave again. And then make sure go through the dark color from down to up first. And then I will weave through. This time, over, under, over, under, over, under. And I will repeat one more time. So turn it and weave through, under, over, under, over, under, over. Turn upside down one more time and then we will do one more set. Make sure blue one, dark blue one goes through 
the lighter color one from the bottom to the top and then over under over under over under now we got a shape bigger shape because we got three loops instead of two now it's time to adjust it So a little at a time, I adjust and try to get a better shape. Make sure I get all the numbers that I need. The reason that I adjust little by little at a time is because you don't want to make it uneven or stress the shape. Try to make them as even as I can. One, two, one, two. And now I'm using my tool to adjust until I get a really nice shape. As I make it tighter, the shape is getting better, but it gets harder to pull because it's tighter. So this is good time to use the tool instead of your fingers. A little at a time. It is getting better and better, smaller and smaller and more even. So I might tighten a couple more times. To make every corner and every space even and tight and nice. So now it's getting better. So here's my three wrapped cocoa chrysanthemum and two wrapped chrysanthemum. So the numbers are different. And the big one, these are the ones that I wrapped around four times. So I get more petals. Thank you for watching it and make your own chrysanthemum kukwa. Thank you.